Good day everyone, I'm meteorologist Adam Kolpak and overnight tonight we have a red flag warning from 8 p.m. this evening through 8 a.m. Friday morning in the uh, shaded region here. Basically, we're going to be dealing with the possibility with some strong and gusty winds out of the north and northeast. And also, we already have dry conditions, relative humidities from 10 to 15 percent. So you get a little wind, we have low relative humidities. There's a potential here for possible rapid fire growth with this type of environment. And this also includes the Illinois Valley, the Western Rogue Basin, and also the Western Klamath National Forest. So we're going to be watching out for that right through Friday, 8 a.m. Outside of that, we actually have high pressure in control off the coast. And what that's doing is it's uh, keeping the storm track away from us. Everything's going up and around this area of high pressure. And we're also going to have warm conditions. And also the offshore flow is going to continue along the coast. That's a north and northeast winds potentially giving us much warmer temperatures for the coast. Overnight lows will be in the 40s and 50s, may stay even a little bit warmer than that in Brookings. And you can see the high temperatures tomorrow. Even if we have some low clouds or fog during the morning, we'll have more sunshine during the day with that offshore flow, north and northeast flow here from 10 to 30 miles per hour going even warmer for Brookings. Everybody else, 60s and 70s. It may even get warmer than that for Brookings. Our temperatures as we move inland will be in the 40s and 50s. Cave Junction at 50, 51 Medford and 47 Wairika. North and northwest winds taming down or at least calming down overnight. By uh, the time the sun sets, we should be dealing with light and variable winds. West Valleys for tomorrow will be in the 80s and 90s with plenty of sunshine overall. As we move east of the Cascades, your lows will be in the 30s and 40s. Lakeview at 45, 41 Klamath Falls and 40 for Alturas. For tomorrow, still pretty warm in the 70s and 80s with plenty of sunshine. Crater Lake there at 64. Wind north northwest from 5 to 15. There could be some higher gusts during the afternoon and evening hours. Your seven day forecast, as you can see, we have plenty of sunshine overall for the Rogue Valley. Highs in the 80s and 90s. Lows generally in the 50s. And for the Klamath Basin, highs will be in the 80s. We may cool down a little bit by Wednesday and Thursday. Your lows will be in the 40s. Uh, again, we have plenty of sunshine. Northern California, the same deal. 80s to around 90 by Sunday. Plenty of sunshine. Your lows in the 40s to around 50. And for the coast, as I said, with the offshore flow, that Chetco effect, we're going to have windy conditions Friday, possibly right through Monday. And that means even though I have temperatures in the 60s for highs Friday through Monday, it could even be warmer than that, especially around Brookings. And your lows will generally be in the 40s and 50s.